hi guys welcome back in this video we are going to discuss about kamunda 8 out of box connectors so let's see how to integrate the out of box connectors into our overflow right so there is a lot of out of box connectors are available for example there is a whatsapp that it's a microsoft teams github aws still more actually kind of a webhook right so these all the connectors are available but we, we cannot see all the connectors right integration of all the connectors we cannot see it let me take one connector as an example of inbound connector okay and i'll try to integrate that with our my workflow okay it will give you an idea so how to use other connector as well okay let me quickly move into the modeler and i'll show you right so how to do that so maybe before that uh, i'll just show you the documentation what they have it actually so when you want to use the inbound connector right so they have it actually kind of a documentation right so if if you are using some webhook id webhook method right so you can give it any any method I, i'll show you in the real time as well okay just for the uh, point key points whatever you need to notice notice okay so and webhook id you will get it out and you can go for your authentication then authorization and you can you can get the result variable from the connector and how you need to prepare the response body and how you need to prepare the result expression all these stuffs okay you can you can read it and you can understand from here as well okay okay let me quickly move into the modeler right so this is a connector which i built just now okay for for to showing you maybe i'll rebuild the same way for another one as well okay let let me quickly go through that okay so this is just a test connector right so when i want to use the inbound connector you know the main purpose of inbound connector when the external system wants to control your command overflow i mean triggering your overflow or you, you they need to pass some message to your overflow whatever it may be right so in that case i can go for lot of connectors are available right now i'll simply use the webhook start even connector okay so this connector will give you the end point which helpful for other systems to invoke your workflow okay so for example if i when i choose this connector right so you can you can change the element and in that you can go down means you can see the connectors right so where you can simply select the webhook start event connectors okay so once you choose it you can see the right side properties right maybe if if i change to github so you see there are the properties are keep on changing right so when i clicking the webhook event so there is a properties is changing in the right side right it means webhook configuration you need to do that right so if you read the properties maybe general one you can you can know that there is a name and id that is completely fine then the documentation you know that and so kind of this is a template i mean this diagram it may be published from someone and you are using that right if there is a new version is upgraded here you can see here instead of up, applied right you can see the upgrade option as well okay so moving to the configuration see this to invoke this one you need to go from your postman or maybe from any tool right you need to call let's say a rest endpoint right so you can make use of any method you can there is an option of any method or you can select a get post put or delete whatever it may be i will go with any method and this is a webhook id they are giving it for you to trigger this one okay and if you want to make any authentication you can go simply and you can do that okay so what kind of authentication and everything so if you want to do any kind of algorithm in that you can you can select that okay and you can find that so what is the uh, response body you want to receive it right so that uh, function field expression you can give it here okay and any activation code any output mapping you want to do to move forward to the some other user task or whatever it may be right so those output variable mapping as well you can do it okay so this is kind of a configuration which is belongs to this is the all properties which is belongs to the our web connector okay and maybe i will just add one more user task here simply right and maybe i'll end up the flow right so this user task name we will call it as a maybe uh, 
tech bus blocks and user task okay let, let having any names okay so this is not a problem right just to test it out and here you can find so sorry there there is a webhook id right so from using this webhook id you need to build the url basically this is part of your url okay so think over it webhook id is part of your url okay let me move into the postman maybe quickly okay so let me create one more request right so add request right so here in this request right there is a url as part of the url you need to add the webhook id whatever it is available in the code in the browser basically i mean okay so here okay so let me copy this okay and maybe paste it paste it over here okay so now what i have to do that it's it's very simple okay i already just prepared on sample one i'll go through that uh, with you see for example uh, whenever you are creating some request right so you should have the https okay the J, jfk one is your region okay maybe if you, if you go here you can see here right in the property files you already configured that so this is the region and this is the cluster id right so cluster id we are using it here right and this is the common name so because you are going to do with the connector right so this is a common name connector dot common data dot for example if somebody when we are generating the token basically we will do with the task list or uh, operate order maybe so we'll give us a task list common dio so but don't worry about that right now you are using the connector so connector dot common data dio okay and the cluster id so which is nothing but simply i picked it from here my my cluster id and i paste over here okay then as i'm using the inbound connector i need to mention this one okay uh, so until this i'll just copy paste so as you already aware right now so to my new request right see after that after inbound i i'm just placing that webhook id whatever we copied from here okay so hope you got it right so now what i will do i'll simply go here i'll i have to trigger this process first i need to deploy this process right so let me deploy this process right so let let's deploy it let me go to the operate and see that okay techbus plus user this this got deployed now let me go to my postman right i'll hit this request body must not be null so it is expecting some request body right now right let's go here quickly my modeler uh, maybe so i don't want this authentication right so so these all are none let me redeploy again so i got the 200 response okay it means as the connector was enabled with the authentication earlier right it was expecting some uh, response uh, some values basically okay so all these values right now i made it as a disable for authentication so it will not expect any body or any condition just a url is more than enough right so i'll just go here and i i can hit it out okay if i hit it you can see here now 200 response let me go to my operate and i will show you that let me just refresh this page quickly so there may be the version change okay so there is okay so you can see here there is a two process instance got triggered right maybe we will we'll see triggering one more okay again 200 let me go here now it should become three right you can see here let let's click anyone and we'll see see now it is waiting for the tech bus blocks user task right so let me quickly move to the task list and i'll see the user task as well see i can able to see the user task as well i can i can claim it and i can complete it right so i'm not sure which which one i picked it 
okay yeah so the correct one i picked it okay so you can see here right simply i picked the user task and i completed the, uh, the workflow is move forward and ended so so maybe quickly i will remind you right so it is very simple what you need to do as a first step you need to go to the modeler you can select the webhook right so from here you will find the webhook id you can choose any methods if you are specific to get method only get url will work i am just giving any so any url will work and i am making this as a disable i don't want to do any authentication for testing purpose later if you have in real time if you want to do with some authentication feel free to do that okay then then it is very simple i am just deploying this diagram adding one more user task right so after deploying what i am doing i am getting this url right so and i am going to my postman right uh, this is my region name and this is the common name and first i am giving my cluster id then as this is the inbound connector i am giving inbound then i am giving the webhook id right then this id you can share it with any kind of system they can they can invoke easily your workflow right these all about the webhook inbound connector i mean this is a one example i'm just showing you how to use your connectors i mean existing out of box connectors into your application i mean your workflow okay so if you want any specific connector how to use it feel free to comment it out i'll try to prepare a video for that okay so next video i'm going to prepare the custom connectors how you need to build your own connectors instead of using the kamunda connectors you can build your own connector as well so please watch that okay thanks thanks for watching have a nice day bye